Hey, Sherry G, welcome to my channel. So really quickly, I want to answer a question that was in um, my comment section regarding Maurice from Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, the question was, is he a lawyer or a paralegal? Um, so I actually did some research. So I wanna address that. And then I want to um, additionally talk about the congressman from Huntsville, um, Devin Keith, who was arrested last week for stealing our $20 item in um, Walmart because he's in the news again. And excuse me, but I had to hide. Uh, I had to hide from my grandson and my dogs. So I stowed away in my bathroom and we're just gonna make it work, okay? Gonna make it work and then I'm gonna head out. It's raining. I'm gonna head out to the hotel and check on my people. But anyway, um, so Maurice. Yeah, Maurice is actually an attorney. Um, so there's a difference between an attorney and a paralegal. You know, a paralegal is one who, they can't practice law, but they're just like an assistant. So they can prepare all of the paperwork. They can schedule appointments for the lawyers that they work for. So they're just like an assistant. Of course, they'd have to be um, familiar with legal jargon. So they have to go to school for that, right? So that they understand the lingo, understand the language. So he is an attorney who specializes in um, consumer protection law as it relates to fair credit and things like that. He works at United Legal Team LLC, that's the name of the firm, and he has a partner by the name of Aluko Collins. And so their specialty at the firm is consumer protection um, and personal injury protection. Now it's my assumption, and let me say this, everything here is alleged, is of opinion for entertainment and learning purposes only. So anyway, um, in my opinion, I believe that Aluko probably is the one who handles all the personal injury situations, and Maurice is the one who handles the credit uh, side of things. Because I say that because Maurice has another business called Credit One, where they do credit restoration and repair. So that's why I come to that assumption. I mean, for all I know, he could do both. But um, I just lean toward he's the one that handles um, the consumer protection side of the house based on the fact that he has the credit one business. So, yeah, he is actually an attorney. Um, so anyway, um, but he, he's not a real estate attorney. So, you know, really, I'm sorry. Um, law is so broad and the practice of law is so broad. You get to choose, you know, which you want to specialize in. So, um He's not one that does litigation or, you know, he's not one that's going to go in court and prosecute. He's not a prosecuting attorney or anything like that. So I hope that clears that question up. Now, moving on to Devin. Keith, the councilman out of Huntsville. I was so disappointed when I found out that he was arrested again or he will be, you know, there's charges pending again, additional charges from Walmart um, in regards to theft. So I think there's four, three or four additional charges. So last Thursday, he was um, arrested for not paying for a $20 item at Walmart. And he made a statement about that. And, you know, we all thought that was pretty big of him. He, he didn't say that he accidentally took it um so that kind of stood out in my mind and now this so my thoughts are again this is my opinion that i do think it's politically motivated I'll, let me just put that out there i think that he has a target on his back and he gave them more ammunition when he walked through that self-checkout and did not purchase that $20 item. 
So from, from there, I think he just opened up this whole thing where they went back and started looking for more things because they probably said he comes in here all the time. He shops in here often. So they started, you know, investigating is what they call it. But I think they just started looking for more um, damaging evidence to come up against him. Now, if you go back and you read about it, all of these things, these alleged, um, this, this alleged theft, all of it is misdemeanors. And they didn't say exactly what the other items were or any details around the other theft. But there is more than one, three or four, like I mentioned. So um, for them to put it out there and... Um, I think they have something, right? Um, and it might be camera footage is what I'm thinking because I don't, I seriously doubt that it's all relative to last Thursday because that would just be one case and, and then they would have added it up and it would have been more than the $20. So that's just my thoughts where well, there could have been more things that actually happened on Thursday because maybe he made a couple of trips to Walmart Walmart on Thursday, and then when it was found out, the employees may have said, hey, but he's been in here a couple of times, so maybe they went back through camera footage and researched all of that. Who knows? Again, this is just speculation. We won't know until we do know. But it was stated that these are all misdemeanors, so hopefully that's true. Um, will it be damaging to him? I think so. Probably it's not a good look. I still believe that people are going to love him. He just may have an issue with being a kleptomaniac. Um, I mean, because that is a thing, right? Um, you know, again, I wish him the best. He's young, and I know that he'll be able to recover from this. Um, and it will be a learning lesson if it's all true. So he's innocent until proven guilty. Now, we found out about him through Martel. And his post, when he put that post out, and everyone just assumed that Martel was saying that this is Melody's man, because we really don't know who he is. And I don't know that Martel was necessarily saying that. I think it was a ploy to find out. You know, he was trying to get Melody to bite and give it up, right? Because he doesn't know. I think Martel is grasping at straws, and he is interested in who her man is, like the rest of us. We all want to know. Um, but she hasn't denied that he's her man, and she hasn't said, he, you know, <laughs> either way, right, either way. She's just not responding. She's kept quiet about it. And so I was listening to some commentary last night, and it was interesting, you know, and like I said, most of us want to know because we're curious, right? And... And um, we watched the show and we're just curious about, well, and she gave us like these little teasers by showing his arm and saying things like he's provider, protector, professor. But I also know the thing that really stands out in my mind is her saying it's chestnut checkers. So I think she put those things out there because it's chestnut checkers. Uh, it could be PR moves for her upcoming music album. Who knows? But uh because she put it out there, yeah, we're curious. We were curious before she put anything out there. But now that she dangled the carrots. Um, but I don't think she should say anything because of Martel. Because Martel is so explosive. I mean, he is like a bull in a dang china cabinet. You just don't know when he's going to go off. You just don't know what's going to set him off. And given his history and the things that we've seen from him... I just don't think it's a good idea for her to say anything, not to, you know, even if it's to appease us, you know, her fans, I don't think she should say anything. Like, I really don't. I mean, if we care about her protection and we care about her being safe, um, yeah, I think we should just accept that she's not telling us and just go on and let it be until she does tell us, right? We could be curious, but I don't think she's obligated to say yes or no. And especially um, 
with Martel being the one who put it out there. I think if somebody else put it out there, she might have said it. And yes, I know that she's denied um, she's denied being in relationships with other people. You know, like Hill Parker, she actually said, well, no, I'm not seeing him. And, you know, that was public. But I just think it's chess, not checkers. So maybe they have a good friendship, her and um, Devin. And uh, because they do things together in the community, um, or they're going to be doing something um, supposedly for Easter. There was a flyer that Diana Rose showed on one of her lives where, um, you know, they were going to be doing something for Easter and it had Devin on one side and Melody on the other side and some other people in the middle of this particular poster. So, but again, I think it's all because of Martel that she's not saying, and I don't blame her for that. I don't think we need to know every single thing that's going on in her life, even though we're curious. And I think we'll know when we know. Um, so I wanted to address that. The other thing is <laughs> Wanda. I watched um, a live that she did, and <laughs> she was saying that she is not fired from the show. She's just not filming. Well, Wanda, no matter how you slice and dice it, or what you want to call it. You might not call it fired. Maybe you're just going to call it gently released. Maybe you just want to say they gave you the boot. <laughs> but whatever it is, you're not filming. And we are glad. That goes for Destiny too. She's not filming. And we're glad. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Um, if you haven't done so, hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. Share it with your people because I am in the process of building my tribe. Until next time, ciao.